Hey ho everyone, I am the Loki Monster and today I'm going to take you through the good, the bad, and the ugly of this recent update. To start off, we have two new guardian golems to greet you at the gate. Now I don't know if you've ever checked out these guys, but if you tilt them upwards, you can look right down inside and they're hollow. Just like Alphonse Elric, one of my favorite animes. Do you just imagine walking up to these big guys and having this little child's voice come out of them in the game? <laughs> so let's run inside Babylon now and meet the uh, new NPC who's here to greet all the new players. It's Twilly, one of my favorite Mogoons. So Twilly will help out new players by telling them about the portal and changing classes and jobs, as well as becoming a guardian. Now the next change are the three new chests and the Mogaberry juice. Now you're going to have to go to your adventure menu and you're going to need to do your main stories to find these. Now what you want is Death Lair. Now if you go to the old Death Lair via um, Death Portal, you're not going to find this chest. Now you just run up here and uh, jump over this little bridge and this is where you will find um, a brand new chest. Now the first item in this chest is the uh, Red Reaper Skull Belt. Now this thing is so uh, wicked, I don't know many people who won't want it. The next item is Death's Note. Well, it says that the name on this note changes from time to time. I'm not sure who Simon is, but I wouldn't want to be him. Now the last item is a free drink coupon. Now to use this, you're going to have to go to Yogurt and talk to him and he will offer you a free drink. Now, I included this cutscene because I thought this was really funny. Apparently, uh, Yoker is having a small identity crisis. He's Serenity in these two scenes. <laughs> but anyways, if you drink the Magic Stein, it will automatically bring you back to Yoker's. So just like your original portable travel crystal, this works in the same way. You just equip it to a slot and you can use it anytime. You can also just use it from your menu if you want to. So why I'm in Yogurt, I'll quickly point out that uh, now the bush is gone and Maurice has taken this place. Now the spread to love and crafting and quests are gone, but uh, you can still buy the collection. So the second new chest is in Dragon Watch Keep. Now there have been some changes, there's a war fiend who now sits up here. And the uh, Void Raker and the Void Minions now uh, drop the same items as the war fiend in the castle did. Also, the chest used to be here when you killed the war fiend. Now it's chained up in the corner, but it's not in the same corner anymore. It's actually right by the gate. Now I'm gonna head over quickly um, to show you where the new chest is here. You just run through the village and in behind and then up on these rocks here. This chest contains two different items. Oh, one is a dead mimic. Mimic is a monster that disguises itself as a treasure chest in order to um, attack unsuspecting adventurers. Now this chest also has a body spray axe. It's very simple. So there have been a few changes to Hero's Bend. Uh, we have frog zards, the red flying eyes are gone. The little chest is hiding up top here. And no more friends, macaroni, linguini, and ravioli, and their endless possibility quests are gone. Now the third chest, you have to do a little bit of parkour and hop up this little cliff here. And it is up on the top. Now this one's a little tricky. You don't open, try to open it. You have to look at it. And then you need to shake it. And then you need to shake it harder. And then you need to shake it more. And finally it clicks and it will open for you. Inside, there's two items, a parkour note, which gives uh, new players a little bit of information, and uh, red and then the tabby boots. And these are kind of really neat. They look like red bandaged feet with sandals on them. So Gas has changed somewhat here. Before, he used to just be part of the uh, pasta quests, but now he has his own little cutscene, and his shop is now open for new players. Now you can get the Golden Hilted Sword, which was a free sword for us before, 
Um, and you can also get the original saucy shoes because the quest line's gone here. So is the prosciutto title. Now we do have some fishing uh, nodes that spawn here, as well as a new boss, uh, eye sore. Get it? He's an eye and soaring, but he also has a sore eye, which is why he drops an eye patch. Now this patch is pretty neat, but the more unique thing about it, it is actually worth 500 gold. Now I'm here in the Guardian Tower with my friend Silver Tongue. And we're here because of the unscaling of the dungeons. Now, Silver Tongue has been after this pet witch for the longest time. So, all the legends of lore or laugh out loud guild members are serious hardcore players. So, Silver has discovered that you can actually do this dungeon now in just slightly over a minute and was able to get the pet in 136 runs, just a little bit over two hours' time. And another one of our guild members called Wanderer got it on his first attempt. A fellow YouTuber Jay Wolgon and a uh, friend of mine dropped in while I was doing the Crypto Diex. Now I wanted to see how long this would take because I always wanted the wooden horse but I would always disconnect during this dungeon. So I ran it in the public solo and it only took me two baits and chasing him once. Now when I went in with uh, Jay Wolf we did it and in uh, one attempt, one bait, he was done. And I got my first piece of the wooden horse. The good thing that happened in the Redux dungeon has absolutely nothing to do with scaling. This dungeon is already level 31. Going private, unscaled, makes no difference. It's actually the fact that now if somebody disconnects or if you're short a member, a new member can join. We also got a new daily boss, is uh, King Dracus. You fight him and his vampire knights. Now you can do is this daily and you receive your trophy and 15 materials. These materials also drop, as well as three Prince Vlad items. This set has three levels to the crafting with maximum level of 29, or you can just opt out and buy the entire cosmetic version for DC. There's some unfortunate news for people wanting to craft the Furnace Night Set in Magna Falls. This dungeon, for some reason, did not get a private unscaled version. It's still super hard. Another unfortunate thing is in the random adventures, you can no longer use your travel forms. And unfortunately, in the Ear Temple and in Death Watch, boss stuff is rampant. And finally, for the ugly. Alcaroth Extreme Challenge. This is the public dungeon. Last night I went in with a party of 20 people. 20 people abandoned it. I have never seen that happen. There were a lot of good players there too. Um, something has gone seriously wrong with the scaling on this. So you want to get a private party and go unscaled. Today's totally epic fashion zombie set belongs to Basma. Thanks for joining me, it's been fun, and please take a few seconds to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!